A new study out of Spain compares the inner and outer ear anatomies of Neanderthals, Homo sapiens, and chimpanzees. The Atoporca site in Spain is where scientists have uncovered bones of 400,000 year old early Neanderthals. Over 5,000 fossilized bones of early Neanderthals have been uncovered at Atapuerca, Cima de los Huesos. The preservation of the inner ear bones has been particularly good. One key finding of the study, inner ear anatomy may have been the first distinguishing characteristic for Neanderthals after the split with our last common ancestor. Another key finding, middle ear length, was significantly longer in both Homo sapiens and Neanderthals than chimpanzees. Aquatic Ape Theory Some of the best known and widely respected naturalists and anthropologists have advocated aquatic ape theory including Alistair Hardy, Desmond Morris, and Richard Attenborough. Quote, I do believe since there is a mysterious gap between 5 and 10 million years ago in our ancestry, and we do have a number of strange anatomical features, that can very well be explained by aquatic phase. End quote. Desmond Morris. Quote, at some time between 8 and 6 million years ago, one section of the last common ancestor population found itself living in a watery environment and began to adapt to a semi aquatic existence, end quote, Elaine Morgan. Clive Finlayson, curator of the Gibraltar Museum, is a close friend and colleague of Chris Stringer. Goodreads.com, Clive Finlayson takes an ecological approach to our evolution. He argues that environmental change, particularly availability of water, played a critical role in shaping the direction of human evolution. Quote, Aquatic ape theory has always seemed like a good explanation for how our ancestors might have adopted an upright stance, end quote. David Attenborough. Ear morphology. Medical news today, the ear canal or auditory canal is a tube that runs from the outer ear to the eardrum. Life Science 2023, quote, anytime you go swimming, use earbuds or hearing aids, things can get trapped in your ear, end quote. Dr. Christy DeMason. Life Science, if you are born with a very small ear canal, water can get stuck more easily, DeMason said. Side effects could include harmful bacteria. MEL, middle ear length. According to the study from Spain, average MEL for chimpanzees was 5.3 millimeters. Homo sapiens are at 6.3 millimeters. Neanderthals and Heidelbergensis are at 6.6 .6 millimeters. However, the study also found a much larger range of MEL in Homo sapiens than Neanderthals or Heidelbergensis. A wide range of MEL for modern humans would seem to be consistent with another study from 2010. A study from India found consistent trends in ear morphology depending on ethnic groups. There have been no studies on ear size and length of Africans. However, there was one interesting study that contrasted Caucasian and Asian ears. Dr. Lian Wei Bing of the Singapore Medical Academy studied ethnic differences of the outer ear length of the tragus to the exterior auditory canal. From the study 2012, quote, anthropometry in ethnic groups and cultural and geographic diversity, end quote. Findings, ear length defined as the maximum length measured from the superior to the inferior aspect of the external ear, the Caucasian ear appears to have a marginal edge on the Asian ear. 
aquatic Neanderthals. Another study published in 2019 by three widely respected paleoanthropologists found Neanderthal ears had unique morphology, especially adapted to colder climates. The study found that Neanderthals were far more marine adapted than previously believed. They scavenged for shellfish and even dove for fish. From the BBC 2020, quote, It's quite possible that the Neanderthals were collecting shells as far down as 2 to 4 meters, end quote. Professor Paolo Villa, University of Colorado. Ethnic Europeans have as much as 5 to 6 percent Neanderthal DNA admixture. Could unique ear morphology inherited from Neanderthals explain why modern Europeans seem better adapted to an aquatic environment than other populations? Coming soon, Aquatic Neanderthal Theory. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.